This is a step-by-step -step video tutorial on how to make these crocheted boho rainbow statement earrings. The materials you will need are 100% worsted weight cotton yarn. I am using shiny happy cotton from Wool and the Gang. I'll include the links and colors that I'm using in the description. A four millimeter crochet hook, fish hook ear wires, and cork fabric that goes on the back of the earring just to keep it a little more flat and sturdy without adding any bulk or weight to the earring. And to put the cork fabric on the back of the earring, I'm using hot glue, but you could use super glue or fabric glue as well. For all of these materials, you can purchase my kit for these exact same earrings with the exact colors that I'm using here today, and I'll link that in the description as well. To start, I'm using pink and making a magic loop. So place the yarn over your hand, wrap it behind, and then over, making a cross. Insert your hook into that loop, pull the yarn up and through, and then yarn over and chain up one. Now make two single crochets into the magic loop. One and two, and just try to make them as loose and not tight as possible. So from here, take the tail and just pull it sn snug to close. Now instead of working in rounds, you're gonna rotate your work, chain up one, and you'll be working in rows now. So you'll wanna make two single crochets in each of these stitches going across. So two single crochets in the first, And then two single crochets in this second stitch. One and two. Okay, so now you'll rotate your work and change to purple. So to change to purple, take the purple yarn and place it over the hook and then just pull the purple yarn up and through. Make sure the pink is snug and that the purple loop doesn't get too big. So you just kind of hold it and pull it tight. Then yarn over and chain up one. So for this row, you'll make two single crochets in each stitch going across. Keep pulling the tails tight. So two in this first one, two single crochets in the second. And then once I've done that, I usually cut the tails just to get them out of my way. And I'll cut this one at the bottom as well. And then finishing out the purple row, make two single crochets in the next stitch. And two single crochets in this last stitch. One and two. All right, so now you're done with the purple. You've made eight single crochets, so now turn your work and you'll change to blue. Changing to blue, just place the yarn over the hook and pull a blue loop through. And then just make sure everything's pulled tight. That purple loop is pulled tight. The blue is held a little snug. And then just yarn over and chain up one. In this first purple stitch, you'll make one single crochet. In the second stitch, make two single crochets. One and then another single crochet in that same stitch. Then you'll repeat that going all the way across. I'm just going to cut the tails here. So one single crochet in the next and then two in the next. One, 
one. And then two. One. And then in this last one, make two single crochets. Okay, so now that you're done with the blue, you should have made 12 single crochets with the blue. Just yarn over and pull it nice and tight and just cut it. All right, so now you'll just weave this blue yarn through to make, to hide the tail. And cut it. All right, so now you'll take the fish hook ear wire and attach it to the earring. To attach the fish hook ear wire, I use scissors to open up that loop. You could use jewelry pliers as well, but I just stick the scissors in. It's tiny scissors, these are embroidery scissors. And just kind of open the loop like that. And then I find the top center stitch and just thread it through, just like that. And then take the scissors again, just squeeze it and push it closed. Really doesn't take much effort at all, just like that. Okay, and now you'll glue the cork fabric to the back of the earring. So it's okay if some of these tails are sticking up because you'll be gluing them to the cork fabric anyway. So just take a very small amount of hot glue and glue around the perimeter a little bit in the center. Take the cork fabric and place it down. Okay, just stick those tails in and press it down nice and snug. Let it kind of cool off a little bit. And then take your scissors and cut around. That's one earring done. You can see you have the cork fabric on the back and it's kind of just a little bit sturdier. And now go ahead and repeat the same thing for the second earring. All right, so now I'm all done with both earrings and they're just so fun and cute. Would be perfect to gift to yourself or to make for somebody else. With each kit, I'll include these um, earring card holder. So you could gift these earrings to someone which I just think would be so perfect. They're so fun, easy, quick to make, just a great little project. Again, if you're interested in purchasing the kit, I will link it in the description. Happy crocheting, and let me know if you have any questions.